Am I wrong for leaving my surprise wedding because I felt blindsided? Last week, I, 30 female, was invited to a supposedly fancy party by my longtime boyfriend, Mark, 32 male. We have been dating for five years, and while we had discussed marriage before, there were no immediate plans for a wedding. Excited about the event, I dressed up in my best attire and arrived at the designated venue. As I entered the grand hall, I was completely taken aback to see all of our friends, family, and acquaintances gathered, eagerly waiting. It turns out, Mark had orchestrated an elaborate surprise wedding for us without my knowledge. Everyone erupted into applause as I stood there, shocked and overwhelmed. I just felt a mix of emotions. While I loved Mark and had dreamed of our future together, the idea of getting married without any prior discussion or consent felt like a breach of trust. So I pulled Mark aside and tried to express my concerns and reservations about the surprise wedding. I explained that I wanted a say in the planning process, to be part of the decision making and to have a chance to prepare mentally and emotionally for such a significant milestone in our lives. However, Mark dismissed my concerns, saying he thought it would be a romantic gesture and that I would be thrilled. In that moment, I faced a difficult choice to go along with the surprise wedding, putting a smile on despite feeling unsettled, or stand up for my autonomy and voice my true feelings. I ultimately made the decision not to proceed with the surprise wedding, much to the disappointment and confusion of our guests. Now I find myself at odds with Mark, our families and even some of our friends who believe I overreacted and spoiled a beautiful moment. However, I firmly believe that a marriage should be a joint decision with open communication and shared expectations. Everyone's excuse for this is I've always talked about marrying Mark. And again, the problem isn't marrying him. The problem is not having say in my wedding. Mark thought I'd appreciate it because I always spoke about how stressful wedding planning must be. Yes, I think it's stressful. It is, but I'd still like planning one. After this whole ordeal, everyone asked if Mark and I were ending things, in which I replied no. I emphasized towards them and Mark that I still wanted to marry him, and most feel like this is making me more of an asshole since I just wanted a perfect fine wedding. So, am I the asshole for refusing to attend my own surprise wedding even though it was intended as a romantic gesture? My fiancé left me for the one that got away, but now wants me back. My fiancé and I had been together for three years. He was my first boyfriend. We laughed, cried, worried, and were happy together. Our families had mixed really well. Our moms became close friends really fast. He was my best friend, my confidant, my support, my comfort. I looked at him and could see our future together. God, I'm even crying remembering one time we took a blanket, went outside, and looked up at the stars like in some book. I never thought something like this could happen to me. The man I loved could have never done anything like this to me. It all started about two months ago. His ex high school sweetheart together seven years moved back to our country and wanted to catch up with mark he told me they broke up because they were unable to sustain a long distance relationship when she left to pursue postgraduate studies they had been in contact for about five years she sent him an email he showed it to me and it was completely platonic she was just curious about what he had become he asked me if he could meet her and i said yes i trusted him so he went but when he came back he was a bit withdrawn he was usually really chatty but he was dismissive when i asked him how it went I let it go. However, the following weeks, he was often on his phone. He picked random fights with me and didn't look me in the eyes even when we slept together. Didn't whisper loving words either. I'm really touchy and clingy. And in our three years together, he had never once recoiled or refused my embrace, but he started doing it. I usually hug him like a koala when he comes back from work. I'm a bit childish, I know. But he only let me do it twice. It was such a sudden change. I asked him what was wrong, but he just said he wasn't feeling too good nowadays. On Saturday, I went to visit his grandma and we usually knit together. She taught me and I was gone the whole day. I feel really close to her because she adopted me easily and reminds me of my own who died when I was in high school. When I came back, I found him packing his stuff. My whole world fell apart. He was being so cowardly. He told me he was sorry for making me suffer like this, but sometimes life gives you a second chance and you have to recognize it for what it is. That he loved me, but when he met his ex, he realized that the feelings weren't the same. He said he regretted letting her go, that he had found himself again. That it had been a difficult choice for him, but he had to take this chance. His ex wanted him back. She had realized what she had lost and risked losing for good when he told her he was getting married. He supposedly refused her at first, but as time passed and they talked together, his old feelings came back. He hoped I would forgive him one day and understand. I cried as he was talking. It sounds stupid, but it was as if it was a stranger in front of me. He said he would still pay rent and part of the bills until our lease was up and I can find another place. He makes a lot more than me and I wouldn't be able to afford living in our apartment on my own. I begged him not to make this mistake, that he was being fooled by an idealized memory of their past together and that he was having cold feet. But he was like a wall. He didn't even look at me. At about 10 p.m., there was a truck outside with one of his friends waiting for him. He apparently came to help him move. I wasn't really close with that particular friend, but he did seem sorry for me. Mark hugged me goodbye and left. I hadn't cried that hard in years. 
I slept in our spare room, not to feel the emptiness of our room with his things gone. I sunk to the deepest pathetic I've been and tried to call him, but it went to voicemail. I had no idea where he went, but assumed he was now living with his ex after three weeks of talking again. How ridiculous. I'm really lucky to have supportive friends and family. My best friend even moved in for five days. My parents wanted me back home with them, but I wasn't ready to leave. Mark is a bit messy and I'm a manic, so it feels weird having everything perfectly neat. I missed his messiness. It was as if he was the one making our house a home. He used to joke about me wanting the house to look like it was on sale or in a catalog. Not waking up to make breakfast, not seeing him read, lighting on the sofa while I studied felt weird. Not buying his favorite snack or powder proteins when doing groceries felt weird. I felt really lost at first. It was like grieving. Usually when people break up, the relationship was going south, but to me, it came out of nowhere. I still loved him. I was still planning the wedding and working on my side to build our future together. It was all gone in a matter of a day. I wish I had been smarter and refused to meet his one that got away. His family was dumbfounded. I still went to see his grandma and she told me that he was a fool and that he would come back crawling to me. She was the first person who managed to make me laugh. His mom, my mom, and I started making calls to cancel all reservations. Luckily, the store accepted to take back the dress. We didn't pay much for the location as we canceled early. Next was to inform the guest. He had been gone for about three weeks then. His family was furious with him, so they didn't contact him much. The only contact I had with him was a signed check he made to cover the wedding cancellation. However, about a week ago, I received a letter from him. He apologized for leaving me like this, said he made the biggest mistake of his life, that he couldn't even believe what he had done, that he was writing me this letter because he didn't have the courage to face me. You were right. I was running after a perfect relationship that had never existed. I regret it so much. I thought I was in love with her, but in reality, I was in love with what she represented. My younger self with no responsibility and only dreams. I had cold feet and got afraid of moving forward into this new segment of my life. I couldn't stop thinking about you when I was with her. She is not you. She doesn't know me or love me like you. She doesn't smell like you. I missed hearing you sing randomly throughout the day. I missed having someone nagging me to pick up my stuff. I miss planning Halloween parties for the kids with you. At the time I'm running this letter, we would have probably been decoration shopping had I not been a fool. Everyone told me I was being a blind fool. I would do anything to go back to the past and slap some sense into myself. I would do anything for you to forgive me. I know we have already started canceling everything, but I'm ready to pay for everything myself. You can date someone else to even the scores if you want, as long as you come back to me. He kept on with apologies and begging me to forgive him. Now, I told my family, left friends out for the moment, and his mom and grandma. Grandma had a very satisfying told you so moment. However, she is rooting for me to forgive him. His mom was supposed to send a formal letter to guests to tell them the wedding was off, but now is waiting for my answer. I don't know what to do. I love him with all of my heart, but what he did to me, I don't know if I can get over it. He made me feel worthless. He threw me away as if I was no one to him after three years. He gave up on us for some ghosts from his past when we were at our happiest. If he can leave me when we are doing so good, how will we sustain a marriage? Will he leave the moment things get hard? He hurt me so badly and expect me to forgive him. He wants us to meet on Sunday, but I'm not sure. I'm willing to. I need some perspective. What would you do in my situation? 